everybody, my name is Old School Nerd, and I know a lot of you really believe that El Estepario Siberiano will stop making videos like he used to, and that may be the case. He's probably about to get really busy. He's only the most famous drummer, not in a band on the planet. Well, some of his songs that he covers, I do reactions to, and some I don't. And a lot of you are like, hey, Old School Nerd, how do you decide which songs that El Estepario does a cover of, do you do a reaction to? Number one, all of you asking me in the comments, but the other ones are, it's gotta be a song that I know and like. Why? Because I wanna appreciate what the hell he's gonna do with it. Because if you don't know the song, how are you gonna know? In the YouTube reaction system, certain videos must be reacted to by highly trained specialists. Unfortunately, we only have this idiot. All right, I looked through his library. He has no Rush covers. Okay. Um, but he does have a couple of Tool covers. And I love Danny Carey from Tool. He's one of my favorite rhythmic drummers. Now, here's a reason. There's a reason why I want to do this reaction to the pot. And I'm only going to do talking right now and after. Why? Because so many of you hate it when I stop it. So I won't. I'm just gonna tell you what I think right now. The reason why I want to see this reaction from El Estepario is because he's known for his speed. He's known for his intricacy. He's known for the machine-like drive and precision. But can he groove? Well, he is the groove father, we know that. But if you're playing a Tool song, you gotta feel it. You gotta be in the in the in that in that it can't just be dream theater or slipknot, where if you go fast enough, nobody'll notice. If you're gonna do a cover of Danny Carey, gotta feel it in here. And I know he will. I just wanna see it for myself. Here is Tool, the pot. El Estepario Siberiano. He's from Spain, a-holes. He's not from Russia. Let's go. Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been out your hair. I hold deep in muddy waters. You practically raise the Hi. You must have been. Hi. You must have been. Hi. 
Yeah, take a breath, bro. Take a breath, mother. Just breathe it out. Breathe it out. Breathe it out. Yeah, just throw. Yeah. What happens when you kill shit? All right. Um, let's let's talk about it because there's a lot to talk about. Number one, the number of times that I've watched Danny carry videos because he loves to play with a camera, watching how he plays stuff. Um, the intro where he's doing the rim work and the snare taps and everything else, you hear that intro track in the background. Danny does play that live. However, if you see El Estepario go to the pads mid song, there are parts of this song where Danny Carey leaves the rhythmic section of the song to play kind of a world composition of sound. Now, best part about it is El Estepario can do that as well, but he wants to give the people what they came for which is what he does, which is massive fill work. Um, literally, in there are some sections where they're exactly the same way that Danny plays them, except he just plays double the notes. Um, it's an experience. Um, someone asked me, why does he put a weight on the snare? Okay, that's a recording performance Yamaha snare, okay? Uh, it could be louder than probably everything else in the room. And as he's recording, he'll put that weight for two reasons. Number one, to dampen the sound so there's less resonance. And it makes it sharp, like a razor. Some people even ask, why does he have all these holes in his cymbals? That's the same thing. You get all the crash and splash sound, but without the lingering resonance that goes on and on and on. So you can get to the next part. So things are more clear, more crisp. A lot of your jazz drummers love this kind of stuff because it lets them do rapid notes to where they don't all bleed and muddy the sound. So when he's playing like this, you'll see a lot of his work is played like this. If he had solid thick crashes, like concert crashes, and he took that weight off that snare, a lot of the stuff you wouldn't even hear because it would literally blend into the next note. That's how much power he's got. Um, you probably saw my, my chair moving at the end of the song. It's because my feet were bouncing because I was playing the tom section on my feet. See how my chair's doing that? Because the drummer in me wants to play this. I've done a few El Estepario Sibiriana reactions and you guys have blessed me by checking them out. I've gotten such amazing support from you a lot of you love the numb reaction because it was an amazing song. This one was made about two years ago. In fact, the short on TikTok and on Reels on Instagram of this came out a full year after he recorded this. So I challenge you to go back in his library, look at some of his other stuff, because I got to be honest with you, this is by far one of my favorite covers he does. The other thing I would challenge you all to do is I want you to enjoy what he's doing here and realize he is 100% the groove father. It's not just a t-shirt and some, some catchy swag, okay? To play tool, it's not just an exercise in precision and speed. You got to feel it. You got to know where you're at. It's a story that you're telling. He knows it. When he gets to the end of the song... The reason why he's freaking out is because I don't know how many takes this was. I don't know how many times he's done it, but he knew he nailed this. Do yourself a favor and I want you to play it again. Except I want you to either turn your screen off or close your eyes. I promise you, you will feel and in your brain, you will see this being played. It's not just something you can watch. This thing, this thing can be felt. Just listen to it again. Close your eyes and go on the journey. My name is Old School Nerd. I am blessed by all of you who have checked out these reactions. This amazing performer. And it doesn't matter whether he's making videos every week, whether he joins a band or not. It doesn't matter. He's one of the best, man. And when you're playing covers like this, to the greats, like a Danny Carey, a Neil Peart, 
You know, he's it's not just about Mike Portnoy or Joey Jordanson or right? It's not about just playing the fast stuff. He's doing stuff that tells stories behind the kit. And I'm in. I appreciate your time. Thank you for being patient. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later. You know, you guys know that I film these live on Twitch and I'm filming this live on Twitch on a Tuesday night, the 14th of November. And someone in my chat was always listing all these drummers said Lars. Really? Really? Next reaction, battery bitches.